All right, we're here at Goodwill, and today is the day that we go and find thrift store junk. Any kind of junk, electronics, clothing, whatever, to flip it for profit. And I'm going to show you how I do it here at Goodwill. So let's go. All right, the first step into finding cool junk is I love Halloween, so I'm passionate about Halloween. Now this right here is a retro uh, jack-o'-lantern, and it's fairly old. It's not like super old, but it's really cool and retro. It has a really cool face on it. Now, it's 69 cents, okay? And a lot of these do sell. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to scan it up and simply it scans up and there's one active for $11.99 with $7.85 shipping. So I'm going to go ahead and buy this. Um, it's in good condition. And it's uh, one with a little slanty face. But it's only $0.69. Cents. Now, if you look in this area and you find some really rare ones, there are jack-o'-lanterns that sell for hundreds of dollars. So I did find another one, and it's a 1980 jack-o'-lantern, and it sells for, um, there's a sold for $17 with shipping. And I'm going to put it right here in the screen over here to show you the comp. Here's another little small one like this. What I like to do is look at the writing on the bottom of them. This don't have any writing at all. It just has an old, really old tag. It's like a really old Hobby Lobby one, but I don't think it's really that old. And I'm just looking for like, just facial expressions and pumpkins that like literally stick out because all these are just mass-produced ones right here. And I'm looking in here and just looking for ones that seem off to me. You know, I mean, they seem different. And so far, I haven't found any more but those two. So we found another really cool, large uh, 1980 Carolina jack-o'-lantern. And I would say it's probably going to sell for 15, 14 to 15 dollars. So the three jack lanterns I picked up: the mini one, the 1980 Carolina large one, which the mini one's a 1980 Carolina as well, and this one that is um, vintage and it has the weird face on it. For all 69 cents, and I think all three will sell anywhere from anywhere from probably 14 to $17 a piece, which is insane. People love vintage Halloween, and I love Halloween because you can find so much cool vintage Halloween stuff, and people love it. So how I'm looking up these solds in Goodwill and all this data on these items in Goodwill is the eBay seller app. And I'm gonna flip these items on eBay for profit. So I'm gonna find this junk that people didn't want anymore. They decided to throw away or to donate and we're gonna give it another home and hopefully profit a little bit. So don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for notifications. And also we're still, we're still thrifting, nothing's stopping. But also, what I want to tell you is, you always have to be on the lookout for items in Goodwill. People don't. People think that you won't find nothing good at Goodwill, but you find those hidden gems that people just simply walked by and overlooked. All right, so we just scored something pretty rare, and this is an Alpha Industries vintage military hat. And why this is so rare is there's comps on jackets. And a lot of them say rare on it, but you look and some of the jackets have sold for anywhere from 100 to 150 dollars. So this hat, I couldn't find anything on the hat. There was nothing. 
which means that more than likely this is worth something and so we're gonna buy it because it's only $3.99 and it's black which is half off today so we're gonna see what this sells for it's underwear Disney stuff is usually pretty profitable. I didn't look this up at all, but it is half off. So maybe we should look it up. So Disney Parks hats really aren't selling for a lot, but I can tell you right now that hats do sell for really good money. I think for this hat, we're gonna get like 50 bucks probably. 40 or 50 maybe. They, they seem pretty rare. So it has like a slip pilot thing on it, this patch. So I think it's going to be a pretty good deal. So the next section I love to look at is electronics. Used electronics more precisely. This is so cool to look at this stuff. Like, look at this. Where will you ever find this? Ooh, it's kind of heavy. It's a filter for a computer screen. I don't know how much it sells for, but... We're gonna check on the eBay app and we're gonna see the price on this item. So, yeah, it doesn't come up, so I don't know. My guess is it's not really that good. Sometimes that stuff is not, but like the more the computer stuff is, like um, hard drives and stuff like that, voice recorders I don't really see anything like that right now here that but it's in rough shape and see this Apple power adapter but they want nine dollars for it that's it well, way too expensive for that it would be my guess I don't know what that sells for but I don't know let's scan it and see if it's like 60 bucks then I'm buying it so let's see here but a power adapter OEM from Apple probably a decent amount yeah it doesn't look like it let's see let's let's look it up sometimes you got to type the stuff in so 85w magsafe Apple power adapter so we're just gonna type it into the eBay app and see what it comes up as. Um, only like 20 bucks, so that probably wouldn't be a very smart investment. I think this is really cool right here, but it only sells for like 30 to 25 dollars and it's missing some parts and I don't know, it's half off, but I have not gonna chance it because I don't wanna have to sell it for parts because it probably doesn't sell for parts for a lot. So we're gonna keep looking. Let's see what we can find throughout all this stuff. Ooh, KitchenAid timer, huh? This is weird because KitchenAid is usually very expensive and it's only five bucks. So that means we are gonna scan it. And on eBay, eh, it sells for like 20, let's look at the solds. I think it's like 24.99, not huge. Yeah, 19 bucks. Pass on that too. I do need a coffee pot for my upstairs. Wow, that looks brand new. That looks brand new for 20 bucks. I may have to buy that for my upstairs, but I don't know yet. I don't know. It's $20. It's a lot, but it's not really that much. Hmm. 
But once again, pause the video if you see anything and tell me what it is that you've seen. if it works but it looks like it's in pretty good condition don't know what they want for it I don't see a, I don't see a price it's so they want $39.99 for this I don't think it's worth it yeah that is not worth no $39.99 that is just purely insanity what is this? It's a Hamilton. Okay, so crazy thing. That coffee pot. I was gonna buy it for myself when I opened the box. It was a Hamilton Beach Flex Brew. It was not a Keurig. It just let me down so much. All right, we're back at the car and we spent $6.74. We got the three pumpkins in the hat. The hat is rare. It is vintage. I think it'll sell for at least 40 to 50 um if not like i would say at least 40 and the three pumpkins sell for about 14 to 17 a piece so we're probably gonna profit all in all about 45 dollars and we spent six dollars and 74 75 cents so don't forget if you love turning junk and especially goodwill thrift store junk into profit or into just repurposing it like share subscribe we do a lot more uh, different styles of videos on this channel so hit that bell for notifications and make that money